morning, everybody. Hope you're doing well today. Just want to share a scripture verse I was reading this morning, and I think it's just uh, so important for us um, in, in, in thinking about unity and loving one another. You know, the scripture says, this is not uh, in my notes here, the scripture says that they will know who we are by the love we have for one another. And sometimes our evangelism can get hijacked by dissension in the church, by us bickering with one another. And, some, and sometimes, you know, we have different opinions on things. But the most important thing is that we have the right attitude. And Philippians chapter 2, I was reading it this morning. Uh, it's very familiar to, to a lot of us. It says, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, and hopefully you're united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness in compassion, then make my joy complete, Paul says, by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing, and this is key, do nothing, how hard is this? Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of of the others. Man, that is so tough to do in our self-serving, really, all of us, generation. We all have a selfish nature. In your relationship, verse 5, with one another, it says, in your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being the very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on the cross. And the result of that, it says, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You see, it explains to us that the way up is really the way down. Jesus, you know, humbled himself so much that he, was, that he went to the cross. It was an extreme humility. Jesus being God in the flesh, imagine the amount of humility it would take to be God, but then to humble yourself to the point where you die a criminal's death on the cross. And Paul is encouraging us, admonishing us to be humble in such a way that we would um, treat others as more important than ourselves, that we would take that kind of place of humility um, because we're valuing other people's interests even above our own. And that's a high standard. That is very difficult to do at times. But Jesus laid down his rights as God. He had every right in the world. He did nothing wrong. He was sinless. But he laid down those rights for the benefit of other people. And so today, you know, whatever thing that may be troubling you and your spirit, and we live in such a rights-focused generation where we want to get what we think we deserve and what we feel we're entitled to, and really at the end of the day, the thing that we're entitled to the most is death because the wages of sin is death and we're all sinners. And that's harsh to hear, but sometimes we need to think in humility, you know what? It's not about me. God has a bigger plan. God has a bigger way. If I feel like I've been slighted or mistreated, guess what? God is the one who will take care of it. God is my defender. I don't have to defend myself. God is my defender. I can just stay silent. You know what? I can just actually, for the sake of unity, I can lay down rights because God is on the throne. And we have the example of Jesus that laid down every right at the end of the day. And uh, he did it for our benefit. And so I don't know what that means for you today, but you know, when just thinking about our church family, when thinking about the world and our evangelism efforts, guess what? When people look from the outside and they're looking in, and we're trying to do our best to win people to Jesus, and if they see bickering and conflict, guess what? They're going to say, I don't want to be part of that. It actually hijacks our evangelism. It hijacks our peace. It hijacks all the good that we want to do. And even when we feel like we're right, we could be completely wrong in our attitudes. And so again, friends, the way up is the way down. And uh, I think that's an important lesson to learn. And now it might sound a little harsh. It's quick this morning, but I'm going to pray and uh, that God would help us move forward. So Jesus, I thank you today for your example. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord, that you are on your throne, that you are in control, that you are moving. God, for every person that's watching on the, uh, online today and in this room, God, whatever conflicts we may have in our life, whatever 
issues and, and, and with people or uh, whether they're in our family, whether in the workplace or in the church, in the body of Christ. God, I pray today that we would all take the attitude of Christ, that we would humble ourselves to realize, God, I am not without fault. I am not without sin. God, we have all fallen short. And help us, Lord, to treat one another in that kind of way because, God, we're all in this together. Because, God, you've called us to love one another. God, you've called us and laid that example down for us, Lord, to, to, to walk humbly before you, yes, but before one another. Because we've all fallen short. We all missed the mark. And, God, we need to help and encourage and love one another to help get us there. So, God, I pray today, Lord, for that, that kind of mindset. Help us, Lord, to walk in unity. Help us to walk, Lord, uh, in the fruit of the Spirit. It's so important today. And so, Jesus, I pray all of these things. And God, indeed, the world would know who we are by the love we have for one another. Because when they look inwardly, they'd say, how can you guys get along when you got this going on and that going on? It's a supernatural thing. It's the love of God moving in us and through us. It may not make any sense naturally. But God, the love of God is, is moving through us to one another. That we can love people in that kind of way. Like you love us, Lord God, unconditionally, no matter what. So God, I pray all these things now for all of us today. God, I thank you for your love. Thank you, God, that you are moving. God, thank you that you have great plans for each one of us, great plans for our church family. And God, that we have so much to look forward to in you because you are a good God. And we pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, God bless you today. Hope you have a great day. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.